It's time for an adventure. Let's go on an adventure. It's time for adventuring. Adventuring with Paul. Well, it's Saturday morning. The news is I'm feeling much better than yesterday. My nose still isn't. I don't know if you can see that. My nose is still not feeling much better than yesterday. Isn't it amazing? I mean, live and learn, right? Next time, I will actually go and get medicine sooner. I'm feeling a lot better today. I know I probably don't sound it, and I'm definitely singing bass this morning. The plan right now, it's it's probably like quarter after 10 or something like that. Show floor opens at 12. I'm not even going to try to get there at 12 because I know the lineups are going to be insane. I am going to go get some medicine, probably go to like take an Uber to a grocery store or something like that, get some meds. Um, probably come back here, um, just chill out a little bit. Might get some food while I'm there as well. I'm looking forward to seeing who I am going to meet today, and I'm probably going to actually stop by some booths and do some filming at the booths, because um, uh, <clears throat> that would be smart. Yeah, I'm looking forward to day two. It's going to be a good day once I actually you know, start my day and get out of the hotel room, which I'm going to do now. So let's go on a trip. So I feel like I'm in the U.S. because I had a difficult time finding the non-organic bananas. But I also just remembered that I forgot that they don't sell original Sun Chips in Canada right now. They're totally available, but they don't sell them. So, come on Frito-Lay, PepsiCo, whoever it is, makes them. Sell original Sun Chips in Canada. I don't want flavored Sun Chips, I just want regular old Sun Chips. Anyways, I've got my drugs, I've got my Sun Chips, which is amazing. I'm going to enjoy those. I'm going to grab a few bananas, I'm going to head back to the hotel and hang out there for a bit. And then, uh, yeah, we'll hit the, hit the show floor after my breakfast of sunships and bananas. <laughs> Me again. This time, year two. <laughs> Day three, what's up? I go as brown man, even though I'm kind of not brown at all. I'm famous by proxy. Yeah, actually, he's, you should wear this. I'm brown, you're, you're, I'm, you're I'm browner than brown me. Than <laughs> Well, there we go. I just saw uh, <laughs> walking back from the grocery store. What a morning it's beat already. I found sun chips and I saw a ray in the lobby of my hotel. How cool is that? So anyways, it's breakfast time. So it's been quite the morning, I tell you. Shout out to Ray. Ray actually uh, is super awesome and everything. He actually remembered me from last year. He's like, oh, good to see you again. I mean, I couldn't tell if he was just saying that to cover his bases, but just the fact that they would even remember is really, really cool. So shout, shout out to Ray being awesome and thanks for letting me get a picture and stuff. Funny story, I took the Uber and I had a cool Uber ride. That was cool talking with the one guy on the Uber thing. I took an Uber to a convenience store and back from the convenience store and realized I was gonna actually get like some gum or a breath mint or something um, and completely forgot. So instead of uh, taking another Uber and to the grocery store and back and basically sp spending like 30 bucks on mints, um, I decided I would just walk to the nearest convenience store, which apparently is only a few blocks away. Yeah, go for a short walk and then head back to the hotel. Once the lines die down, I will head into the convention center once again. So I made it to the convenience store. I'm gonna stand facing the shade so I can actually see. And uh, I bought Tic Tacs, which I'm going to be popping like, um, I'm gonna be popping these things like, uh, like, um, etc, etc, etc. Just getting back to the hotel now, looking behind me. Looks like the lines on this side of the building, closest, fortunately closer to the hotel, are not super long, so I actually might be able to get in pretty quickly. I'm not in any rush. So I'll let the people who are in a rush get inside. And then, uh, yeah, I'll pop over there in a little bit. So I'll head back to the hotel with my Tic Tacs. I'm going to pop, like, hotcakes. And, uh, yeah, we'll hit the show floor in a little bit. I just got back to my room and perfect timing. They're actually, um, housekeeping is actually in there right now making up my room. So I'll just head to the, uh, I'll take the elevator one floor down and uh, hang out in the little food area for a little bit. And then I will start uh, popping these things like um, banana splits. Anyways, I'm gonna head over there, heading straight to the show floor. And uh, yeah, TwitchCon day two, here we go. For the record, I just had my first Tic Tac, and I popped it like a banoffee pie. So I am back on the floor now, and uh, I'm actually gonna see. I'm actually gonna start talking to people that I might connect with today. Like I've been yesterday, I went and talked to a bunch of people and stuff like that, but I didn't film any of it. So I'll see if I can actually get some people on camera to talk about their stuff that I'm excited about once I can remember where everything is. 
So the big arena that I saw, that I could see from my hotel room, uh, this is it. This is the H1Z1 arena. And there's like seating all up there and stuff. And yeah, this is the whole thing. I'm not gonna lie, I am lost. <laughs> I this could be, this is, I've walked around the. I'm trying to find the green screen booth. I walked around the entire convention center, and I have no idea where it is. I am so lost. It's not even that big a big convention hall. How can I not find this one thing that I'm looking for? I had just stopped by the um, the booth for Doctors Without Borders. They're a charity that I actually give to myself. They're, in my opinion, are definitely a good charity to donate to. And I got a toque, look at that. They call them beanies down here, but they gave me a toque. And they're like a wristband, it's like a wristband with like a USB stick in it that has information on it. So yeah, I'll be checking that out for sure. But you can definitely expect to see a, a charity stream from me uh, one day. So I'm here with Alex and she is recording a game called Quiz Time. That unfortunately is not out on PC yet. Sad face. It will be soon, it will be soon. Feels bad, man. Yeah. Anyways, yes, so this is what Quiz Time looks like. And it's not, they're actually streaming it right now. Yeah. And uh, I stream for the show eight hours a week, and everything I stream is the games that we've made. They're interactive with the viewers, so you type them in, and um, yeah, it registers the answers, and we give away prizes every stream. And if you're not familiar with that, you will be in November when it comes out on PC. Yeah. So we're snap finger click. <laughs> Link in the description. So this time he's not streaming, but I'm interrupting him again because he's walking around. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm Bright as well. Um, focus on Mario Maker a bit and the longest daily streamer in the world. You're the what? The longest daily streamer in the world. Oh wow. Which is why I'm doing this right now. <laughs> <laughs> I'm uh, still doing the daily, so I'm streaming the daily. Yeah. yeah. Sweet. Yeah, I actually saw because um, you posted that you were, you were having trouble when you got here. I think when you, when you got here, you were having trouble. Yeah. Well, I just. I, it was hard to start the stream because like, my hotel internet was working and stuff. And, yeah. It's so much easier to do it on a GoPro and not live than to do it after the fact. But yeah. yeah, but then you can't brag about being the longest daily streamer in the world. Though. Yeah. That's the other problem. Yeah. No. Of course, conventions is where like 4G data goes to die. So. Yep, no, you can't get anything here. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Well, it was nice meeting you yeah, again. Yeah, nice to meet you again. Yeah. Have a good year, I guess. Yeah, I will. Yeah. I'll see you next year. I'll see you later. Yeah. So I'm here with... I forgot your name already. Anita. Anita. Or uh, Nizareth. Nizareth. I'm here with uh, Anisha. Anissa. Anissa. Like Anissa. Anissa. I'm here with Anissa. Awkward again. I did that last year to somebody. Is it okay? Um, and she's a, she is an all-important mod on a number of people's channels. channels. Yeah. This is an example of somebody who is like who doesn't actually stream, which is too bad. But, I mean, mods. I mean, you can't. Yeah. You can't, you can't argue with mods. Mm -hmm. But also, like, make sure that nobody's like being an asshole and try to have that sense of community and everything. Exactly. So exactly, these people run. These people. These are the people who actually run Twitch. Streamers can't run Twitch on their own. These people actually run Twitch. I'm still waiting for the royalties, you know. <laughs> but what can you do? <laughs> Go ahead, take time. I'll, 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 vamp, I'll vamp for you. There's a girl taller than me. Wow. There's a girl over there that's taller than her. Look at that guy. What can you see it over there? This is a bit of a fisheye lens, so it's kind of hard to see. She's so are you, tall. Are you, does that make you feel less? No, it makes me feel great. I like how you're like, oh my goodness, she's so tall. And you just put your arm on my shoulder like yeah, I'm a hat rest. It does. It, it's, I do this to help me lean um, and keep me upright. Thank you. So. Tell me yeah. about your channel. Because I'm only 5'8 when I wear shoes, so... I'm 5'11. I, my, my stuff isn't anywhere, anywhere near as interesting as your stuff. But I, I convince adult men to dress up and get drunk for the sake of Dungeons and Dragons. So... Yeah, how the hell were you going to tell that? I wasn't. Mm. What That's... do you do, though? You joke, um, but I can't hear the Australian National Anthem without knowing where the triangle goes because I was a drummer. Oh, really? Yeah, I did percussion. I did all that fun stuff. To be honest with you, I only know you from New Rockstar. Get the hell out! That's, yeah, that's the honest truth. Like, well, hello. When you were on the new Rockstar channel, you are like, oh yeah. yeah, I'm over here on this channel. I was like, 
Are you? Oh, yes. Okay. I do geek pop. Uh, but I know Fimo because we both work for SourceFed Nerd together. Oh, okay. But he did a posting after I was there. Right. So he didn't technically replace me, but we worked at the same network and uh, we didn't work together. Anyway, he's really, really good at uh, the whole online content right. and stuff. So yeah, when he asked me to be on West Coast Weekly, I was like, hell yeah, and now we got a new show. Yes. How's your arm, by the way? It's alright so far. Yep. The camera's not too heavy, so it's not too bad. That's true. But like, having to do that the entire time. Oh, I did not, but now I'm doing it. I know, right? That was so sneaky. You like that? <laughs> hands free, you're looking at my hands free. Yeah, I... Uh, that's me. I've learned that even though I'm technically a part of this space, I don't know a lot about it. It's big. There's so yeah. much. There's a lot. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Now you're in it too. It's true. I'm, well, I'm in it deep. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a thing. There's a lot of... So you're drowning in it and no one's even helping you out. Like this is what you wanted. Stink, bitch. <laughs> Welcome to the internet. Yeah, there's a lot of deodorant here. Not all of it's on people, but there's, it's here somewhere. Oh, look at that! See, if, if everyone only did that, I've been I've it's been deodorant. Totally female. I'm gonna smell. I'm gonna smell beautiful now. I feel pretty. Women's scent. A floral, floral scent. <laughs> I'm gonna smell. People are gonna wonder what I'm doing with. They won't, they'll you be just, so glad. They'll be like, thank you, just, you, you that's so that. lovely. You're welcome. You it's how I give back. <laughs> that was really super cool. Um, hang, meeting Ma Garrett, who I've seen on the internet many times. She seems like really cool too. Like she seems just super chill and down to earth and like genuine. So that's really cool. Uh, so shout out to Maude for uh, link in the description. So right now it is uh, 2.30. Uh, I'm pretty sure that Ray is supposed to have a meet up here at 2.30, but they haven't actually announced where it's going to be yet. There's still a lot of people in the meetup lines from the last batch of meetups. I'm just going to kind of hang out and uh, and make that happen hopefully in the next little bit. So we shall see what happens. So funny story, I, uh, I took a picture with somebody earlier, one of the instant photos, and um, I had my finger over the flash. And I think this is why it says don't put your finger over the flash when you do that because this is a picture of me and uh, and somebody I, uh, and there's it's just it's just black you can't really see anything at all so I'm keeping this one as a memento as, as my instant photo from TwitchCon there's it's just nothing there's just like a couple of like shiny spots in it so these guys are from Chaotic TV Gaming and they're my new best friends and uh, yeah so. <laughs> I just watched him play air hockey and it was uh, it was nasty. I Anyways. got my ass broken. <laughs> how new are you when you talk about how new you are? Yeah. Street gaming. Oh. <laughs> I was about to say, I was like, air hockey? The streaming, I think, like maybe two years back. Okay. He's on and off. Yeah. Oh, okay, I got on it. Not, not like constant. <laughs> right, right, right. Okay, sweet. How long have you been streaming? Five years. Okay, sweet. Yeah. So. yeah. Hey, what about you? Uh, it'll be two in November, I think. In November? Yeah, it's really fun. So, yeah, I haven't seen this for a long time. All right. Yeah. So, like, what do you what do you mean to play? I mean, why are we interviewing me? This is my vlog. What I'm gonna you, steal you your footage, play? bro. What are you making? I'm play? stealing your footage. What are you making? Okay. What are you mainly playing, man? Don't do it, man. Bro, what are you mainly I play um, mainly survival horror shooters, and every now and then I do um, some like esports. Yeah. 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 Don't worry. I'm the best mercy south of Diamond. <laughs> I say South right now, but you know, my next season is going to be I am the best Overwatch player in my personal space right now. Uh, but that, I'm now no longer the best Overwatch player in my personal space. So I just spent a bunch of time waiting for a meetup that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> Ray's meetup is tomorrow. So I was been waiting around here loitering and stuff and didn't realize that it was tomorrow was going to happen. So, um,. The good news is that there's a panel I kind of want to go to, so I'm going to see if I can make it there in five minutes. So I just got out of the, not just, but shortly got out, a little while ago, got, I'll start over. I just got out of, I said just got out of again, uh, a panel with a bunch of lawyers. It was actually really, really cool talking about lawyer stuff and, and agreements and things. I have no idea where I'm going again. I'll go this way. And then I was talking with uh, Jason, who I met yesterday, link in the description, and uh, yeah, we were, he's, he's actually a lawyer, so we were talking about stuff like that too, so 
so many cool people at Twitch, but I've had to talk so loud for so long, my voice is going. I'm gonna go and pick up my green screen and then maybe head up, drop it, go drop it off at the hotel. And, uh, yeah. So, I just bought a green screen. These people are, are selling these green screens, and they actually attach two chairs. Yeah, they're called the Web Around. It's a lightweight, portable, collapsible green screen. It's on the back of any chair. We've got one on the gamer chair right there, if you want to show it. Okay, have got one on this crappy little conference chair right here. Or you can even strap it on your body. It folds up really small when you're done using it. Look it. And the best part is it's a price. On our website right now, the 56 inch chair, which Paul bought, is only $50. And our 52 inch chair, which we're demoing right here, is $50. So there you go. So I'm doing this because, because I actually bought one. Like, I looked at it and thought it was a cool idea. It was going to be cheaper than any other green screen I was going to get. And uh, so I'm not just the president, I'm a client. Uh, it's like how that works. You can ask your mom about that reference. Um, <laughs> link in the description. Yay. This is not sponsored. No. Although, not at all. although yeah. it, it, and it can't be anymore because I already bought one. I did not think that through very clearly. Oh well, next time. Bye. Well, I figured I would take an opportunity. Oh, I'm. I'm. Emergency Tic Tac Rescue Operation, go! Uh, all I wanted to say is that. I'd... Close enough. Is that I popped a Tic Tac. Um, and I popped a Tic Tac like a. I don't know, like a Black Forest cake. Anyway, I'm back at the hotel room for a second. I thought, figured I would. Uh, pick, I picked up the green screen, as you saw, and I figured I would come drop it off so I wouldn't have to carry it around for the evening. I basically just came back to relax a bit. <clears throat> My voice is going to be shot tomorrow. It's going to be hilarious. It's only a few more hours before uh, before the floor closes, anyways. So I'll do some more wandering, and we'll figure out what's what. It's still a beautiful day in Long Beach, CA. There's a lot of stuff going on right now on the show floor. There's a big uh, PUBG Invitational, or not PUBG Invitational, PUBG um, thing that's happening. But it's packed because it's Saturday and there's a lot of people here. So I am now sitting in a meeting in a panel room waiting for a panel to start. I still haven't had a solid meal yet today. Aside from the Sunships. Shout out to Sunships. Okay, so I just got out of that panel and uh, I ran a bit late and the show floor closes in just about, just under an hour. And that'll be the end of day two of three. So, um... Yeah, that's about it really. I am starting to get a little bit tired. Still better than last year, but uh, still not great. So that's pretty much the end of the day. The floor closes in like 15, 20 minutes, so it's really it's really emptied out. Just talking with some some cool folks. Stopped by some places. That, uh, I don't know where I'm going. Stopped by the Streamlabs booth as well. See, so trying to check out what they're doing. A lot of cool stuff they have going on. But uh, I have not eaten much today, and. Uh, the problem is, it's okay with having not eaten really, but the problem is I don't feel hungry and I don't think that's good, so I need to actually get something to eat. I think that my day two is about done. I just found out that there's a whole other area um, where there are exhibitors and stuff that I didn't even know was there. I kind of like walked by it and didn't realize that's what it was for, so tomorrow I have a whole other area where there's a few rooms there's probably not too many people there but there's a whole other area that I gotta try and hit up tomorrow and see what's actually back there so now I have to decide what to do for supper and it was like eight o'clock <laughs> and uh, yeah we'll go from there but I am arriving back at the hotel so yeah that's how that works it's time to eat and I ordered if you saw me on Twitter last night um, uh, you saw that I got room service, and I ordered chicken fingers and fries. Um, and I got lazy and decided I'm going to order room service again. And uh, let's have a look at what I let's have a look at some at what I got. Um, I don't, I'm not even mad. I don't even feel guilty, really. Adventuring with Paul. It's time for an adventure. Let's go on an adventure. It's time for adventuring. Adventuring with Paul.